Hello, hello everyone there. What are you doing? Are you sitting down, relaxing and enjoying the holiday? It's just, just everyone is doing good. Uh, welcome again. Here is your brother Rega. Thank you for watching. And today, ex-Christian challenge to people of the book. People of the book, ex-Christian. A new convert to Islam challenges Christians. Can anyone reply to his great challenge? Can Christian Prince Al-Fadi David, David Wood or any Christian as a matter of fact or Shamshimon can anyone answer the challenge? Here, let us see. Let us see if anybody is able to answer the challenge of uh, this great, great, great man. Let's let's learn. Ho 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 ho. Let's 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 listen. Okay. Let's listen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Um <laughs> <laughs> I did a video about my conversion mm -hmm. um, a week ago and I see that it's ruffled a lot of feathers in the Christian community uh -huh. one thing that I wanted to say because there was a lot of comments uh -huh. saying that um, there's some terrible comments but uh, yeah, like I'm, I'm not even phased by it but it was most of the comments were you were never a Christian uh, you were never a Christian uh, you, you, you're now following Allah who is Satan you follow Muhammad uh, the Quran is, is, is from Satan and, and all kinds of weird weird comments real quick my challenge to the Christians out there as the Bible was originally revealed in Aramaic was the Bible revealed in Aramaic originally? Has anybody, has anybody seen that the Bible was revealed in Aramaic? As far as I know, there are some. Daniel chapter 2 to chapter 7 and um, Jeremiah some some part of Jeremiah, some verses, and some words in the New Testament. But he is telling us it was written in Aramaic. Is that true or categorically false? And the Quran was originally revealed in Arabic, and it still remains in Arabic. My challenge is the Christians who say that this book is, the, the Bible is preserved. My challenge to you is to <clears throat> recite by memory any chapter in the New Testament as Jesus spoke Aramaic. Mm. I think you agree with that as well. He spoke Aramaic and the Bible was originally revealed the New Testament in Aramaic. I challenge you to recite in Aramaic from memory, uh -huh. uh, let's say seven verses from any chapter. Me, I can do that. I can what? recite from Surah Al-Baqarah. Oh, Baqarah, <laughs> the, cat, the cow. Here comes the cow, the cow. I can recite the cow. We don't have uh, cows. We don't have a book. And <laughs> we don't have a book which is called cows. No, no. We Christians don't have cows. Yeah, I mean, we have cows. But our books are named after the prophets or uh, after those whom God used them, the pens. The pens, the pens are those people whom God used them to dot down his revelation, his word. 
under the inspiration of the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit. I will recite Bakara, the Hindu, the Hindu God, Hindu slave, cows, the cows, the chapter of the cow. From memory. Uh huh. In the language that it was revealed, Audhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Ar Rajim. Bismillah Ar Rahman Ar Rahim. Alif La Mim. What is Alif La Mim? Alif La Mim. <laughs> challenge. I challenge you. I challenge you today. What is Alif La Mim? Alif La Mim. What is that? ذلك الكتاب لا ريب في هدى للمتقين الذين يؤمنون بالغيب ويوكمون الصلاة ومما رزقناهم ينفقون والذين يؤمنون بما أنزل إليك وما أنزل من قبلك وبالآخرة هم يوكنون أولئك على هدى من ربهم وأولئك هم المفلحون إن الذين كفروا سواء عليهم أأنذرتهم أم لم تنذرهم لا يؤمنون ختم الله على قلوبهم وعلى سمعهم وعلى أبصارهم رشد آه لا ولا 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 that's a recitation this shows you the Quran is preserved in Arabic language it is preserved this shows you the Quran is preserved because Allah spoke <laughs> Allah spoke in Arabic and it is totally in Arabic. So the Christian, can you recite? Can you recite and tell us that it is original? If you say the Bible was not corrupted, then you recite? Oh, really? Well, really? This is pathetic pathetic these people they try to just go into the uh, whenever they say la ilaha illallah muhammad rasulullah that's the time they open their mouths against the word of god so what you recite your phone book i know this phone the phone book number the numbers on my phone book i know all of them that must be from Allah. Ah, that must be from Allah because I remember it. So, the fact is, the Bible was not written in Aramic. It's Hebrew in the Old Testament. Hebrew, the major majority, the ninety-nine, ninety-eight percent, ninety-nine percent in the Old Testament was Hebrew. And in the uh, New Testament is Greek. That is not true. So, you were not a Christian. You are not a Christian. Oh, yeah, yeah, Jesus said. Didn't Jesus, didn't you read? Let me read it for you. The same day when, when Jesus out of the house and sat by the seaside, a great multitude were gathered together unto him, so that he went into a ship and sat. And the whole multitude stood on the shore. And he spoke many things unto them in parables, saying, Behold, a sower went forth to sow. When he sowed, some seeds fall by the wayside. Maybe you may be one of that. By the wayside. And the falls, the birds came and devoured them up. The birds of Allah came and devoured you up. Maybe, maybe you are one of that. Who knows? But I pray for the mercy of Jesus Christ so that, you know, he, you may have his, his compassion and love still because Jesus is love. Or even when in the cross, he say, Father, forgive them for they know not what they are doing. That's what. And then the, the Matthew uh, 13, 5. Some fall upon stony places where they had no much earth and for where they sprang up. 
because they had no de- dep- deepness of the earth. And when the sun was up, they were scorched, burned, burned by the sun. And because they had no root, they withered away. Oh, withered away. Yes, you may be one of that. Who knows? But let the Lord have mercy. May the Lord have mercy on you. And some of fall among the thorns. And thorns sprang up and choked them. Yeah, choked them. The thorns. Thorny. Are you in the thorny ground, which is Islam? Who knows what? May the Lord have mercy on you. But as there is fall into good ground and brought forth fruit, some an hundred, some sixtyfold, some thirtyfold. Who has ears to hear, let him hear. He who has ears to hear, let him hear, says Jesus. So, either of, either, uh, there are four categories, and one is you, is concerning you. You fall down and eaten up by the bird, by, by the birds of Allah. The birds of Allah, Islam, is darkness. So, you are not Christian. So put, whatever, find out from these four categories where you belong to. Okay? That's what I'm going to advise you. And you cannot say, oh, this and that or that. Yes, Jesus is Lord and Muhammad is not. Muhammad is a liar, a deceiver. Allah is a false God. And God, Yahweh, Jehovah, the God of heaven and earth is the true God. Until we meet again, may the Lord richly bless you. Have a wonderful night. Bye-bye.